Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. Today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful three-tier pedestal tray using Dollar Tree materials. I will list out all the materials and if you would like, you can also visit my blog site at creativity.com for all the details including tips and tricks as well as links to my Amazon store where you can purchase some of my favorite craft tools and materials if you are unable to find them at your local dollar store. If you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would also love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. To begin, I will show you the materials. All the materials were found at Dollar Tree unless otherwise stated. We will need a large charger plate. The one I chose is white. We will need a medium size plate. The one I chose is a hard plastic plate with silver rim which came in a pack of four from Dollar Tree. We will also need a small plate, but rather than an actual plate, I chose a tin cover from an empty tin box of cookies. We will also need two candlestick holders. They can be ceramic or glass. I also found a giant plastic diamond ring from the Dollar Tree that we will be using. I'll show you later how I use it. We will also need some book rings, some loose crystal gems, gem stickers, some silver beaded necklace, and some rhinestone ribbon, which I ordered from Amazon in bulk. If your tin cover is dark, you may want to use some primer first before painting it. My primer was purchased from my local hardware store and I am using leftover from a previous house project. We will also need some silver glitter paint, or if you prefer, you can make your own glitter paint using Dollar Tree acrylic paint mixed in with some glitter. As per most of my projects, we will also need some Mod Podge, hot glue, and some Fix-All. To begin, we will start by embellishing the large charger plate with some rhinestone ribbon. For this process, we use some hot glue and place the ribbon around the border perimeter of the charger plate. Then we take the medium sized plate and using some hot glue adhere a string of the silver necklace beading along the border perimeter of the plate. Next, we take the tin cover and paint it until the color and design on the top surface of the tin cover is completely covered. Since my tin cover has dark colors, I am using some primer first before applying a layer of silver glitter paint.
Once the primer and paint has dried completely, use some hot glue to affix a row of rhinestone ribbon along the side of the tin cover. The final embellishment for this tin cover is to adhere the book rings around the interior border perimeter. For this process, I use hot glue. Our three plates are now finished, and you can start to see how beautiful the tear tray will look. The next step is to embellish the candle holders with some gem stickers. This step is optional, but of course, I like to amp up the glam with more bling. Once the candle holders are embellished to your liking, use some Fix-All or any other permanent glue and line the bottom of each candle holder with some of the glue. Then place the first candle holder in the center of the large charger plate. Then add some of the glue to the top of the candle holder so you can affix the medium sized plate on top. Make sure that the middle plate is placed exactly in the center. Then using some more Fix-All, place the second candle holder in the center of the medium sized plate. Again, making sure that the candle holder is placed exactly in the center of the medium sized plate. Next, we will place the tin cover on top of the second candle holder. Again, use Fix All to adhere the two together and ensure that the tin cover is placed exactly in the center. The next step is to embellish the giant plastic diamond ring with some rhinestone ribbon and gem stickers. You can embellish it as much or as little as you prefer. Once the ring is embellished to your liking, it is ready to be placed at the very top onto the center of the tin cover. I would recommend using Fix All to adhere the ring to the cover.
And there you have it. Our three-tier pedestal tray is complete. I really like how it turned out. It can be used as a table centerpiece or can be placed on a buffet table. It can be used to hold afternoon tea sandwiches and cakes, or you can place it in your bedroom to hold your jewelry and trinkets. Comment down below and let me know how you would use this tray. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload another DIY Glam project. I hope to see you all soon.